Hey guys, it's Rob here. Um, just come back from some skiing in Val Turen, uh, where I was testing out one of our prototypes, the Motion Lab bag. Uh, we learned a few things this week. Uh, first of all, the freedom of movement that you get with that bag is just amazing. Um, and having the weight centered on your core, whether you're carving, whether you're off piste, whether you're in the air, it was just so nice to never get knocked off balance and just feel like you weren't really wearing anything at all. The second thing is we learnt, uh, actually no, the second thing is we learnt that if someone's spotting for you uh, and guiding you over jumps, make sure that you properly understand exactly what they're suggesting, otherwise this happens. So we had a bit of a crash. Uh, the interesting thing though was what happened uh, to the bag during that, um, so I thought it'd be quite nice to talk you through it. So basically I came off, took a jump, uh, it was rocks all below me. Uh, we had completely misunderstood each other as to where I was jumping. Um, so I took the, uh, the f landed on the first rock on my skis, back slapped, took the full force on my backpack, skidded down, got tipped forward, rolled over, went head first over there and ended up in the snow underneath. So the interesting thing is what happened to the bag versus what happened to me. So, first of all, the hip belt, uh, the rod housing that takes the flexible spine, that got absolutely smashed to pieces. That took the full force of the, uh, of the impact, uh, smashed to smithereens. Um, but interesting that that spread the load quite nicely for me, protected my coccyx, uh, and I ended up with just a minor bruise on my lower back there. Um, the flexible spine obviously snapped off completely. Uh, the impact was hard enough to drive that all the way up through the spine and rip the suspension system completely out. Um, the straps were ripped off completely as I slid across the rocks. Uh, so those just tore the webbing out completely uh, on both sides. Um, however, Interestingly, the main construct of the frame is all intact. So obviously this would have taken the complete impact on the rock, uh, but the aluminium tubing will have flexed. The spine uh, took all of that force and yet held up very well. Um, and as for me, well, what happened really was the hip belt protected my lower back and protected my coccyx, spread the load nicely. And this spine on the bag effectively acted as a very good spine protector. Uh, so you see some bags have those built in automatically. This is effectively spread the load across my back, really saved me. Um, and having this distance here, this frame stood up really nicely and created a nice void. So actually, as I back slapped, my head would have come back here but from looking at my helmet, it looks like it didn't even make contact with the rocks. Uh, so really, I think this bag actually saved me. Um, and in terms of how it performs a, in a crash, I couldn't, couldn't be happier. So obviously this, this happened when, as I went over backwards, my hand will have come down and smashed on the rock. Um, but for any cyclists out there who've been wondering how this would perform in a crash, I guess I can say, you know, we've tested it to destruction and um, yeah, pretty pleased with the result actually. So, see you guys soon.